my last video with the Moto Guzzi ended up with it uh, in the back of the trailer. This video we're going to take off and show you what we did to troubleshoot it. Stand by. Going back just a little bit, we ended up bringing the Moto Guzzi back in the trailer because it wouldn't start after the end of the ride. For the heck of it, I hit the starter button just to see what it would do before I took it off the trailer. Well, that really got me confused. So I rolled it off the, the bike off the trailer, took it over to the shop, got the multimeter out, and checked the voltage with the, with the ignition off on the battery. And it's 12.85 volts. So now i got to start digging. I was a little tired after that full day, so I put the bike on the battery charger and let it charge for 24 hours and came back the next day. Okay, it's been uh, 24 hours since I've had it parked here, I've had it on the charger and during that 24 hours it's 100% it's in the green. We'll take a look and see what voltage the battery has and I'll pull off the charger. Okay, this will, this will be with the uh, motorcycle key off and the battery charger off. So it's showing 13.09 volts. All right, let's turn the key on and see what happens. It goes down to 13.6, 13.5. Like it went down to the 11s and high 10s when I cranked. I don't know what's supposed to be usual or not, but it's charging to 13, 7, 13, 4. So it's charging the battery, it appeared to me. Now I think I'm going to let it set without the battery charger on there and see if uh, what the voltage is when I come back in tomorrow. Hey, after letting it set overnight and half the day the next day, uh, this is what the battery shows on it. With, uh, without, it's not been on the charger for, uh, so it's 1304 right now. I turned the lights on and waited three minutes because I think it helps give the battery a more accurate uh, voltage reading. Bob Junko has started. At idle, it's about 38, 13.8, 13.85. Let's see what it goes up to when you run the RPMs to about 3,000. Charging system and battery look good so far. Now I need to move on and check a few other things. Spray a little, I'm going to spray a little bit of contact cleaner in this area here where the starter switch is. There are interrupt switches on the clutch and the side stand that may prevent it, the bike from starting. Also check the... This, this bike will start in neutral so that would only be a player if the, if the bike was in gear. Of course, in gear and you kickstand up, pull the clutch in, it starts starts fine. Check the little pin here on the cutout for the on the kickstand. Uh, put a little contact cleaner on that. It's, it appears to be moving just fine. Checked in a starter uh, here. See if everything was tight there and everything was tight there. So that's not an issue. 
I just remembered that I left out the first part of things. I did check when this first happened when the bike stopped was I checked all the fuses there and I also uh, replaced the 30 amp fuses. They were kind of old but they were still good and I clean, made sure the terminals were nice and tight. I still needed to check the, the battery, one more thing on the battery, and that was to get a load test. So I took it up to Battery Plus and got that done, and it checked out perfectly. At this point, I, didn't, I haven't found anything wrong with the bike. So I take it, I'm taking it out for a test ride, then I'll monitor it with the, uh, it's got on the screen, it's got like a little monitor, it shows me the voltage. Okay. I'm out with a doing a test ride in the motor goosey to see if we're gonna have any starting problems. I rode uh, 43 miles, stopped once in between, and I stopped at the 43 miles for about 25 minutes, and the bike started up just fine. So we'll ride in about another 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And then I'll stop for a minute or two and see if we can start again. So I have four stops in here. So far, um, started off this morning with the bike at 13.08 volts without the key being on. Start right up is indicating on the, the display it was at 13.6 uh, 13.6 volts so it seems to be holding pretty steady at 13.5 uh, without anything else being turned on what we'll do is we'll uh, try it for a longer ride on uh, about a week from now I'll take it on a about a double this mileage ride. This will be about a 90 miles ride. I'll take it on a maybe a 150 mile ride next week. We'll try it again. We'll leave it off the battery charger also during for that week. I'll check my voltage before I start. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.